Alright, the recording is now up, which means this is your host, Kazar Spell. Joined today with a co-host who will now introduce himself. Everybody, I'm Zernok. Yes, and we're back to punching things. Because we like punching things. That we do. Okay, I'm, I'm alive, I can tell by the beauty that is my face. Not touching that. The colors are to attract mates. <laughs> my sign is already down. Like okay. Right next, the, right next to the fire. I am a pretty peacock. Well, your colorful character is Featherless Bird. Who would have thought? Hmm. Who indeed? Ah, there it is. Alright. Oh, is that is it just right here? Yeah, turn left from the fire. <laughs> Produce the symbol of the king. I got your king symbol right here. And by that I mean I'm actually gonna pull up the king ring. Yep. Did I ever take off mine? I did not. And again, I was uh, the ring I had on before that in that slot was the life ring, so yeah. Throne of want. Because I want it. I guess I should say, in between episodes, we also upgraded our flasks to maximum. Yep, it's it, nice having our heels topped up. Yeah, before they were 9 plus I want the three. throne of loops. You want the throne of loops? You will be getting no loops. Not until I figure out how to, you know, actually add loops to this. Project for another day, perhaps. It is. I'm thinking, like, I'm not sure if I should make it bits, like a donation thing, that way it's... Because I imagine if I have at, it just being a point redeem, it would be an unreasonable amount of confetti showering across the screen almost every single given moment. Yeah, can't have that. Meanwhile, I wouldn't mind if the confetti was actual, you know, donations. <laughs> <laughs> it's greedy, I know, but... Alright, is there one we want to really focus on? Uh, they have to both die within about 15 seconds of each other. Ooh, that's right! So, currently oh I'm laying oh some damage oh down oh on white one. Oh dear. They juggled me. Ah, it sucks. I hate like, when that happens. Yeah, me getting smacked by one caused me to flinch to get hit by another, and they it's just like, nope, can't move, can't move, can't move. That's fine. Now we get to see my undead face again for the stream. <laughs> Should I summon you then? You know what, sure. Have we explained why we're here now instead of going through the place lost. full of dragons? Um, I don't think it really matters. I think most people who have played Dark Souls 2 know what we're doing, but I guess it wouldn't yeah. hurt to say that there was a boss here we missed before, and if we don't take care of them now, we'll have to fight them before fighting other bosses in a gauntlet. So, we don't want to do that. Yeah. We're taking steps so this isn't the throne of do not want. That is one way to say it, yes. Okay, found your sign. And honestly, fighting these two is worse than fighting the actual final boss. Yeah, yeah, I can agree with that. Uh, 
the slowness of the door. I wonder why I'm seeing so many pools of blood on the walkway here. Because you can just walk right off. <laughs> Could you imagine not paying attention for half a second and then just woo? All too easily. OSHA would have a field day with this place. I know, right? Then again, I don't know if you can count a castle as a work environment. Do they okay, have fair. Do they actually have OSHA if you're a butler for a mansion? I don't know. Probably not. I mean, I would not say against it, but I've never thought about that. Okay, I'm gonna start attacking the Defender. Watch her just electrify their, sh their, their sword and they get love half health. Possibly. Hmm. Defender dropped their shield. I guess they will do something when they get below half health. Makes a certain amount of sense. Oh, now they've both got lightning weapon. No. Oh, okay. I guess Watcher's rep wore off. Dang near simultaneously, too. Chug of victory! <laughs> wow, you had a lot left. Yeah, I had ten. The thing is, they're not that bad. It's just... I... Like, I've... I wound up in a very bad situation. Okay, yeah. I am not walking all the way back to the fire. Oh, but otherwise, this week's been going pretty good. Like, all things considered, uh, we, we've been testing out a couple more games. Uh, I played a little bit of Like a Dragon Ishin. That's been going good. My strategy so far in that game is shoot people till they stop moving. It's going very effectively. Yes, secret weapon with it. What age is that set in anyway? Does uh, it have a name? You can just call it the samurai. I think we're a ronin. Right, so you're running around and bringing a gun to a sword fight everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, otherwise, I've been playing. A, I've been testing out some Pathfinder stuff. Are you kidding me that we have to open this door every time? Sadly, no. The door locks by itself when you get far enough away from it. 
Oddly enough, guns in feudal Japan are historically accurate. Yeah, they are historically accurate. That's why they have it. Am I winning, son? I am winning. I am winning. Slowly. Eventually. Japan was ready to take on the world. Even themselves. <laughs> like it if both of you did not look at me at the same time. Tackling one of you is okay. Two feels a bit rude. Quickly take out him. He flinched. Flawless victory. I don't know. I took some pain there. Okay. Yeah. Hazards of being the first person into the room, I guess. Now that that's done, when we come back here later, we don't have to fight them before we fight everything else. Alright, first stop, Majula, to get some level ups. Four levels worth of souls into adaptability, so I can actually get some iframes. <laughs> Alright, next we go to the Dragon Eerie. Yep. We go in, we talk nice to the dragon, we leave. And that's the plan. We do have to get to the front door first. Oh, you're going backwards? Yeah, I noticed. Look, a lot of this place looks the same. I don't think I really need to summon you. It's not like there's enemies, are there? Well, there are some. There are? Huh, I guess you're right. He petrified him only to break him.
I am not making them blow up, they're just doing that. Really, Sharon? Really? Did she object to your being alive or something? Yeah. Okay, tiptoe past the sleeping dragon. Don't touch any of the eggs. Why not touch the eggs? Because if you break it more than a certain number of the dragon eggs, the dragons will break the last bridge while you're trying to cross it. But then how do we get across? Reload. Ah. Uh. Well, I broke one egg so far. Oh, crap. Those, guys, those exploding guys are exploding with acid. Yeah, isn't it great? Not remotely. No, wait. Now it's burning. <laughs> I'm not blowing them up, says the guy who's had a dozen of people spontaneously blow up around him. Look, I'm not doing that. I'm not sure what's doing that. I have I don't know d enough Dark Souls 2 lore to know who's putting acid bombs in people. Much less renewable acid bombs. I don't have to fight the dragon, do I? No, you don't have to fight any of the dragons. Ooh, I'm just... Okay, I found the last bridge. I think, yeah, this is the last bridge. I can tell because of how much it's swaying. I can tell this is the last bridge simply because, well, there's there's the uh, dragon castle. Yeah. Sorry, I murdered one of your babbies, by the way. And then, as long as, okay. Yeah, this guy again. Hi, Tiny Aldia, shut up. No one cares about your lore. I mean, I'm sure there was... I'm sure there was a point where people did care about the lore of Dark Souls 2. And it's not bad lore. But I still don't think it's as interesting as Dark Souls 1 or Bloodborne or Elden Ring. Uh, are you summoning here or no? Nah, I can't summon. There's no boss here. Small sign? No, large signs work. There technically is a boss here, you just you just don't have to fight it. No, remember it doesn't proc to, until... Oh. Never mind then. Yeah. Excuse me, just opening up this door. I wanna live! Oh, come on, dudes! I just want to see your boss. I'm running. Hello, stairway full of guys in dragon armor. Hello, all the, all the kneeling guys in dragon armor. Hello, a guy with two great swords. Oh, 
Oh, crap. Well, that was fun. Yeah, Where I got the whole club. Following you. Where's the party? <laughs> Where's the party? I was here into the mist in search of answers. He gave me the heart. Time to feather up. Dang it, I have to go back. Apparently I did something that made everyone mad at me. Why, did they catch you? Oh yeah, they got me. Yeah, I just literally ran past everybody. I tried that! Why are you locking on to people? What? I I see you fighting things. Yeah. Oh well. Have you never clicked the right stick? I'm not asking how you're locking on to things, I'm asking why. Because they seem to chase me if I don't do their duels. Are these supposed to be duels? Is the guy in dragon armor not going to come after you? Look, they're not coming after me anymore. Meanwhile, oh, when I was okay. at this door before, they all chased me down going like coward and all that. Uh, okay, so you only have to fight the guy in the middle of the stairs? Yeah. Everyone else kind of like bows and salutes and waits for you. See? Okay, I was hella rude and just ran past everyone. It did seem like they took umbrage to you not fighting the big knights. Oof. They're not chasing me down anymore. All right. Hopefully the ones at the top of the stairs are as nice about that. Yeah, they, they are. Neat. Just give me the thing. Ash and Mist Heart. And part of me is just like, do I really want to leave without at least trying to kill it? The other part of you is like, yes. Yeah. What do you think, chat? Should I fight a dragon? Leaving it up to them? Yeah. Oh it's, boy. It's their show. Do they want yeah, do they want to see a dragon? Do you really have to? No. It was a, it was just a legit question like if if you guys don't want to see the dragon fight I'll leave. <laughs> I'm fine with being a pacifist here. In no way are you a pacifist, Mr. Muffinberry. I have seen your Pathfinder playthrough. You will eat things. I guess this means Mr. Muffinberry will not be eating a dragon. At least not on this stream. I'm 
I'm sure he'll get plenty of chances later. We shall see. Okay. Now we go to Cardinal Tower. Yeah. Can I summon you for this? Uh, you will have to wait until you get inside the uh, t t giant dream or whatever it is, but yes. I think that's how it works. Oh. Okay, now my substones are disabled inside. Well, then we might just have to take it on solo. Yeah, I was pretty sure it was possible to co-op this fight. I think you could summon Ben Hart. I think you have to pull him out of another one of the memories first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you and your drawn dang ring. Miss having to stand stock still for Estes. Then, using the Ashen Mist Hearts, we're able to go into the dreams of giants. For some reason. Trying to step on me and actually hitting me with his sword. I don't want to talk about what happened. You got bowled over by the head, didn't you? Maybe. to say an absolutely terrible joke. The question is, can you already think of a terrible one? Danger ahead. I was going to say that's the worst head I've ever gotten. Ah. Uh. <laughs> You're right, that was pretty terrible. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of proud of how bad that was.
Congratulations. We have to run. Get the soul of the giant. Shouldn't I be resurrected or something? You'd think so, but I'm pretty sure that only applies to when you help someone be a boss. Really? Okay, I thought it happened when you beat a boss too. Mm, that's in three. Ah, right. Like, you draw new embers from the defeated boss or something. Here, you're just dead until you come back to life. Anyway, if, you, if you're trying to get out, you just have to talk to the dead giant through the door a second time. Oh, a second time? Yeah. Was that the only one we needed? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the only one we need. Now I think we just go fight the final boss. Yeah, sounds likely enough. To the King's Gate! Let me pop an effigy. So you're summoning this time. Okay, the sign's going down. Well, I figured we could do mine, wrap up the stream, and then do yours after stream if we wanted. Yeah, fair enough. It's not yours. Nope. My sign is down right next to that, though. I wish there was a refresh option. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? You try putting your sign down someplace a little away from that, just so they're not overlapping? Yeah, sure. I'll put it down at the bottom of the stairs in front of the... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, bottom of the stairs in front of the big door. There you are. I appreciate that the door is big and dramatic, but does it have to open so slowly every time? Yes. Ugh. Yo, welcome to the stream! You're just in time to watch us fight the final boss! Is 
yeah, final boss says. But yes, welcome. I love that I don't have like any idea what her story even is anymore. Be one with the dog. Given the name, I gather she used to be the queen. Yeah. Alright. Her curse fountains. Luckily, they don't affect summons. So I can just go and punch those out. Ow. Oh, for... Good grief. I forgot she had a death ray. It hurts a lot. Yeah, you're telling me. Well, that's just embarrassing. She's mad because you left her door open three times. That's the reason she's fighting this. Eh, I think I'd be mad at somebody if they did that. Blue. Good job. Yep, that's it. Congratulations. There was supposed to be another boss. So did I. Oh well. Time to proceed to the throne. I guess we just didn't hit the prerequisites. I guess. Oh well, he's kind of a pain anyway. Yeah. And this was the ending I was going to go for. Is that all him. there is for the stream, or is there more? You know, I didn't think this far ahead. Yeah, this barely took us half an hour. You know, I was joking when I was saying, we go in and out, 20 minute adventure. Yeah, turns out you really weren't kidding. Who link the fire? You who bear the curse. Ah, Once darn it, my moldy tomato self is going to be king. And all of this yeah, you did get cursed. I know. It is your choice. I mean, if I did, like, if I did continue the stream, is there anything we want to do, or should we just, you know, call this? <laughs> I mean, if you're desperate to pat it, we could go and fight the dragon. I really don't want to fight the dragon. <laughs> the true nose of a spoiled fruit and king. Great Sovereign, take your throne. At least you're being honest. <laughs> True. Like, I, I should have planned. I thought this was going to take at least like another hour more. What lies ahead? Only you can see. But no, this was literally just a 30 minute adventure. 40. <laughs> Fun. What, an intermission and then Final Fantasy, or...? Final Fantasy? Oh, I don't know. God, it's been a while. I don't really want to play Final Fantasy VII Remake because there are people who actually are waiting for that. 
Ah, uh, fair enough. I'd hate to just be like, hey, you missed a stream. Um, gosh. Yeah, I think I think we're just going to call it after this. After the credits roll, we'll just call it. Not every stream needs to be the longest in the world, and I and let's let's be one thousand percent honest with my audience. Most of you are probably asleep or going to bed in the next hour. <laughs> And so the loop's throne was freed, the end. We thank you all for coming. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I I know my audience, and most of you, and I love you all being here. But dang near no one makes it to the end of the streams. Dang near no one, not no one. Well, they do go on for a while. I know, it's like, it's almost like people just can't stay up until 5 a.m. in the morning for what reason? <laughs> yeah, it's not like we have places to be in the morning. I know, right? Like, work. And respond, how do you do it? I wake up at 1 p.m. And it's great that you have a job that lets you do that. Exactly! This is the only time I'm able to stream. I wake up at 1pm, so that, like, imagine you dial it back five hours. So... Like, yeah, I, I don't understand, like, that's why I don't make morning streams. 1pm, yeah, yeah! <laughs> See, he gets it. Or she. Thank you, random citizen. But yeah, I I really do adore... Uh, let, let's just talk about Dark Souls 2 for a little bit. I think it's rude that we haven't yet. Guys, this is a fun game, and I think it gets too much flack. You would not believe the hate for Dark Souls 2 out there. Like, have you, have you seen any of it, sir? Hmm, not recently that I can recall. Not recently anymore. People just forgot this game. But Dark Souls 2 really is known as the black sheep of the family for whatever reason. Dark Souls 1 was a hit. Demon Souls was forgotten about until the PlayStation 5. Let's be real. It's true. I barely had any idea what it was. I had to look it up. Yep. And then, uh... Dark Souls 3 was considered, like, one of the best... Was pretty much one of the best games of the series, but never outshined uh, Bloodborne. Which, Bloodborne is the promised child that can do no wrong ever. Bloodborne PC when? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm told... I, I definitely believe that as well. Like, it totally should get a PC port. That's not even a question. Um, Not even a question. What? Not even a question. No, it ne it needs a port. Like it it needs a port because I'm I don't like games being lost on previous generations. Could you like could you imagine Bloodborne, the that amazing game just getting stuck on the PlayStation Four? Yeah, I can imagine it all too easily, unfortunately. Yeah, that's that's the problem. I know PS5 can run it, but still. Well, yeah, but it needs to come to, like, future generations. Like, and I know that sounds cheesy as heck, but I do believe in game preservation. So here's your here's your choices, uh, Sony, because you're the one who's in charge of that IP of Bloodborne. From Software may have made it, 
but Sony's the one who owns the rights to it. You put it somewhere else, or people will put it somewhere else for you. And you're not gonna like that. That's not a threat by me. That is an eventuality. Just ask Nintendo. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. I'm not wrong. It's not a threat. It is what's going to happen if not has already happened and just is not public enough. Wink. But yeah, Dark Souls 2 has some really nice benefits to it. I actually think the controls are very nice. It's the game that introduced dual wielding, like power stancing. It was the game, like, it brought scaled weapons into prominence. Where weapons like Cestus before were terrible. And if you wanted to play Dark Souls, like Dark Souls 1, I love Dark Souls 1. Can we talk about how nearly every single enchantment in that game gets rid of all scaling? Yeah. Remember that lightning enchantment got rid of scaling? It's, it's pretty sad, yeah. Like, if you were a faith-based character, you had nothing. This game added lightning as a, as a faith thing. And made pyromancy scale with faith and intelligence, which is, I'm pretty sure it keeps that. Like, so it did a lot. It added a lot of spells. And let's not talk, like, I kind of want to bring up the fact of how amazing Lightning Spear was before the nerf. Yeah. Pyro was so OP. It was. It was too OP. But Lightning Spear used to be amazing in this game and they nerfed it beyond all belief. Now it deals less damage than Emit Force. I was just making up a, a cleric when the patch hit. Yeah, you were. I remember that. And you were just like, yes, 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 Lightning's the best. And then it got patched and suddenly I'm down from 20 casts to 5. <laughs> yeah, and they did have less than half damage. Uh, less than a third, even. It, it was terrible. Happy Souls. Yes, if you... Uh, here is my last recommendation now that the credits are closing out. Now that you have seen Dark Souls 2, watch Happy Souls again. It will make so much more sense to you. Oh, and uh, let's see, the next Souls game I'm playing? Guess what? This weekend, uh, Folly Knight, Slurp, and Kusha Soul is going to be playing Elden Ring with me. And we're going to throw rocks at everything. Doesn't that yeah. sound fun? It does. It can only handle a four person party, right? Yeah. Oh, well. All rocks, all the time. Yes, we will we will deal with that later. Hey, there you go. We killed 15 minutes by talking during the credits. Yay, hey, victory. We beat the credits. Any last words? It was nice coming back to play this again. Yeah, it is. And I, I would not say, like, you're definitely more of a hex user in this game, let's be real. I definitely am. But you have to admit, the fisticuffs are surprisingly fun. They are. If you have uh, not, if you have not played Dark Souls Two with a fisticuff run, it is surprisingly balanced and fun. We, you saw how easily we just pummeled the heck out of everything. It was great. But with that being said, this has been your host Kazar Raspel. 
and your guest co-host Zernok. Hoping to see you in the next video, series, or live stream. And signing out. Thanks for coming, everybody.